Am I audible? All right, uh, let's get started with an, a session. So today I'll be talking about Factory Act 1948. Yesterday we are done with the Trade Union Act because now we are discussing the various statutes which are related with the industrial and labor laws in India, right? And as far as theory is concerned, a very little part is there. Most of the things which we are studying is basically the statute, the law, the legal provisions which have been enacted by the Parliament of India or the state government. And we need to understand these statutes for our examination, right? So Minakshi is there, Sonam is there. All right, thank you so much. Very good evening, everyone. And uh, let's get started. We are talking about this Factories Act. So as the name it's a, itself signifies, so this act or statute must be there for the factories. It must deal with the various provision of the factory the what kind of provision must be provided by the employer to the workers what could be the benefits right what could be the penalties so all such kind of things including the definitions right so that is very important for us for every statute definition is important so first of all uh, let's talk about the brief of this uh, statute the historical background of the factories act initially as we have already discussed it was post industrial revolution that in the Europe various acts were passed for the benefit of the workers. Similarly in India the very first act was passed in the 1881. The Factory Act of 1881 which greatly changed the entire course. It provided for various provisions for the welfare of the workers because the working condition of the workers in industry was worst the conditions were deteriorating day by day so the very first act and this must be you must be knowing about it it must be clear that the very first act was passed in 1981 and various reforms were introduced in the industrial sector post this act right it provides for the working condition of the workers it lay down the various provisions with respect to the health safety because for any industrialist health or safety was never concern for them the main objective of any industry even today is the profit but because of the presence of various statute in India particularly at the international level they are under pressure to perform various or to take welfare measures otherwise had there been no statute had there been no control the condition of the workers in industry might deteriorate all right and it also provides for penalties in case there is a contravention with respect to the provision of the act. If somebody does not do not follow, he or she or the employer has to pay a penalty. There must be some kind of penal provision. Only then a law is followed. Otherwise, nobody is going to follow the law. It was amended various times and it was 1948 when it was extensively amended and we are studying the act which was amended 48. So it is now called the Act or the Factory Act 1948. Here and after we can refer it as an Act only or the Factory Act, whatever it is. Right? It is more comprehensive. It again talks about the health, the safety, the welfare of the workers, whether inside the working, about the working hour, the minimum age for the joining and leave with pay. Otherwise, there is a concept of no pay, no work. But there are now provisions that a worker is allowed leave with pay not without pay he can get a few leaves at least four days a month a few days in a year and he'll be entitled to get the complete salary for those days during which he